grab any photo texture, click one button and get a normal map out of it. And that's it. Hi guys, my name is Borodante. Let's talk about generating legit normal maps from any photo texture for free in Blender. And also how to improve your 3D scans with that. So whenever you create any 3D scan, and right now you can do it easily with your phone because there's a lot of apps on that, especially on the iPhone. I found they have like the best apps. I have this refurbished iPhone Pro in here. It has LiDAR, so that's great and all, but actually like the capture you're seeing right now was captured with just photogrammetry on this iPhone. So LiDAR wasn't involved. It's just a series of photos. This right here was done very effortlessly. Uh, you get uh, this kind of mesh and there is a color texture that will look somewhat like this. So it looks really cool and everything, but the geometry is pretty low. And if you would be moving the lighting around, it's generally looking pretty good, but you can see this uh, low poly geometry, all this goopy detail really showing through in the material and everything that lighting is really bouncing off a very low detailed shape. And I would totally close my eyes on that and just use the models like this and that's it, it would be good enough. But recently I stumbled upon this really awesome plugin and it's called Deep Bump. Available for free, there's a link in the video description. This plugin lets you pretty much grab any photo texture, click one button and get a normal map out of it. And that's it. And like it's in the name Deep Bump, it uses deep learning. So it's actually a certain deep learning model that's running locally. You know, we all have phones with cameras, but we can't really capture textures for our 3D projects because what's the point in just a photo texture? You need roughness, you need normal map, where are you gonna get it? You just gotta get the material from somewhere. But this way you can just take that texture and uh, like this just lets you blend it through the seams. So you generally Photoshop your photo into a seamless texture and then put it in here, click generate normal map. And I don't know, within one minute, it generates the same resolution. Uh, and by the way, the texture resolution of this 3D scan is 8K. So yeah, 8K texture will be generated. Right now, you guys can see we are 15% in. Anyway, here's the, the texture, but of course there's a catch. And the catch is that 3D scans have terrible UVs and UVs suck. <laughs> So thing is, when this plugin analyzes a color texture like this, it doesn't see the model, it doesn't take into account any kind of UV mapping. So it's just going for what it's seeing here and uses AI to figure out what this means in terms of depth. And while it's very sophisticated, it works much better than some simpler just um, value equals depth kind of filters that generate normal maps. Like for instance, this free and open source separate app for generating all kinds of textures for your materials called Materialize, where you can just open a color texture and preview it like this and generate height map, normal map, metallic map, ambient occlusion, smoothness or rough map like everything can be done in here but this uses like a bunch of two-dimensional filters and everything they're really cool and save you a lot of time uh, they are not any kind of deep learning based they're just two-dimensional filters they don't actually analyze any kind of base of knowledge to understand what kind of depth is represented by some kind of image nonetheless by the way materialize is an amazing app and you guys definitely should download this free app as well and it gives you a whole lot of interesting ways to quickly create that roughness map with a bunch of filters that are right here immediately ready to be actually applied. Yeah, there's uh, more stuff to it than you would think. Like it's not just some high pass filter and that's it. It's really cool. You can really save a whole lot of time and really turn some photos into full blown materials and preview them right away in this 3D viewer. So it's a really cool app on its own, but with its own set of strengths, it still has the same downside as Deep Bump does 
does, which is they all just analyze a two-dimensional picture. They can't take into account the UV mapping. So if you don't just use a seamless, some kind of texture that you're planning to tile on a floor or a wall, and it's an actual UV mapped kind of texture. So yeah, you can see it right now. This is uh, color plus roughness at this point. So yeah, this app, by the way, just to quickly give you an understanding of why it's a cool app, Naughty Dog used this app to create materials for Uncharted 4. Just right there. Go ahead and download it. It's a great free app. But yeah, since there's no UV mapping analysis, any kind of account for the geometry, that means that the app will analyze all these UV tiles and think there are some kind of steps and do a lot of things that are, will be very wrong. So every single UV seam will result in this kind of like fold looking normal map artifact. And maybe for a messy looking distant thing, it would work, but again, it would work without a normal map at all. So yeah, one thing you have to do if you want to get like a good looking hyper realistic asset would be to either remesh and create like the minimum amount of seams UV map or just to create a much better minimum amount of seams UV map on your original topology the way it is right now. So that's actually what I did here. As you guys can see, I have two UV maps on this object, which is something you can do. And if I switch to it, our textures are gonna look very bad. So this UV map messes everything up. But yeah, this UV map looks pretty much like this, except for one little piece. And let me show you guys where it is. This uh, piece of pastel, it has like a hole. Everything else doesn't have a hole. So because of this hole, I needed to separate it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be able to unfold it well into one piece. But when I cut it off, I pretty much hit unwrap. Another important thing was to use angle based method. A lot of the times I like conformal method, but in this case, conformal didn't work at all. It couldn't find the actual like surface to unfold into a flat thing like this. But yeah, angle based really does it much better. And there's definitely some stretching here and there, but you get to generate a pretty cool normal map this way. So after creating these two UV maps, of course, you need to rebake your photo texture onto a new UV map. And I gotta be honest with you, I'm not sure if there's a way to rebake from one UV map to another UV map using just default Blender tools. I haven't found a way to do it, but I have this simple bake plugin that I bought a while ago. Uh, you pretty much bake diffuse, and um, as you guys may have noticed, the new UV map is called Simple Bake. That's because in here there is a checkbox to prefer existing UV maps called Simple Bake. So I keep my object using the original UV map. And by the way, we don't need to create a new texture manually. And yeah, we add the object to the bake objects. We select diffuse and select that it should be using this new UV map and we hit bake. So uh, this is our bake and it looks all messed up because we're still on the old UV map. And here we have our new UV map and this is what the texture looks like. So we can see we have zero seams on the majority of the surface and only one sad blue pencil is separated right here. Now I'll, uh, I'll delete this old texture. I'll keep new base color map selected and I'll hit generate. So here we go, right? Let me uh, toggle back and forth. Yeah, that's our UV map. And yeah, as you guys can see, it's really not just some kind of, um, you know, basic filter applied to a photo using just brightness and whatever. It's actually doing some kind of understanding of uh, what actual shapes look like, which is really cool. So yeah, now if I grab my light source and put it at an angle, you know, we're gonna be seeing much more detailed looking things in here. Like they're far from perfect, of course, and everything, but it's quite something. I think it adds quite a lot to realism as well. So it's pretty cool. You can, of course, keep it like very subtle or very strong if you want. 
The moment you get a color texture and a normal map texture, you easily can get a depth texture out of it because the next button in the plugin is generating a height map. And there's also a curvature map. So this kind of stuff can be used in a bunch of other apps, including Substance, to generate all the other maps you can ever desire. So you pretty much get to turn one photo texture into a whole material, which is really dope. But yeah, what I want you guys to get from this video is that there is this plugin called Deep Bump that's meant to be used for flat textures and it converts simple photos into normal maps and then height maps and then curvature maps using deep learning, which is really cool. And it gives you amazing results there. But also if you're using a 3D scan and you want to add the normal map, you can achieve that by creating a seamless UV map and there's an add-on called Simple Bake that lets you rebake the photo texture from one UV map to another UV map. And this combo lets you achieve this kind of results very fast. And also there's a standalone free app called Materialize that lets you generate all kinds of textures for any material you want. So after you get your color texture and normal texture and height texture, it's probably best to send these textures to Materialize to then generate roughness maps, metal maps and all kinds of stuff you want. And also, of course, after you get all the maps you want, you can bake them back onto the old UV map and use all the new maps together with the original color texture to not lose any quality at all. So that's also an important part. So you guys, let me know what you think, especially if you know other ways to approach this problem of generating a normal map on the texture that is UV unwrapped onto a model. Because this is like a huge deal and with this explosion of AI powered things, it's really making a lot of cool things possible and uh, this kind of stuff you really need to be updated on very frequently these days. So yeah, hope it was helpful to someone and I'll see you guys in the comments. Bye! I mean, how cool is that? At the very least as like a base to later texturize in substance or something. And definitely in many cases works way better with dynamic lighting comparing to just this flat smooth surface. Awesome stuff!